Now on BBC One, the news followed at 9.25 by... The holiday weekend looks a bit of a showery mixture. Let me show you what's happening. Lawrence from Nigel McGuinness uses that advantage to force Aries into the war. Hello, it's Friday the 9th of October 2020 and welcome to episode 1 of No News is Good News. 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock news, never stop gossip shop political views. Bombs and shots and harrowing scenes, people die, others lie and families scream. Human beings are putting 30 billion tonnes of carbon dioxide into the Earth's atmosphere every year. Uh, Bob, carbon dioxide is a gas. It's like air. I mean, air isn't heavy, eh, eh? This month, we will be looking at the environment and the problem of climate change. What problem? You're an idiot, Harry. What? Scientists believe that our destructive relationship with nature is actually putting us at greater risk of pandemic diseases. We are encroaching further and further every day into wildlife habitat. Well. I don't believe in global warming or climate change. The climate crisis is the biggest crisis humanity has ever faced, and yet it has been ignored for decades. Now she should be at school. <laughs> A nine pound round of double Gloucester cheese is rolled from the very top of the hill and competitors chase after it down to the bottom. What I'm speaking right now is RP, received pronunciation or, you know, your standard BBC English. Now, London is the accent that most people outside of Britain can recognise. And that brings us to the end of the first episode of... Uh, no news. Is good news. No news. It's goodbye from Harry. And goodbye from me. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, Bob. No news is good news to me.